let's play some Valheim. So I've tamed another Lox, and this one I'm going to boat over to the um, meadows. And I'm not going to cut this video like I did the last time so that you can see the process. Now we'll see if the Lox ends up getting killed if a serpent comes around. Hello, Mr. Lox. Uh, okay. How do I? There we go. Cool. Um, so the trick here, come on. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Oh, it's the direction I'm looking. Okay. So, the trick here is to... Please, come on. The trick here is to ride the locks onto this boat here. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Stop moving. What are you doing? No, I'm not. I'm not telling him to move. He's doing that of his own accord. Please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, stay. No, you stupid beast. Stay. Stop. God damn it. Oh my gosh. Please. What are you doing? Uh, I did not have this problem with the other locks. This one is ornery. Let's try that again. Stay. Good locks. Okay. Cool. So now it's just a matter of boating this bad boy. I want to get him over probably here or I guess here preferably, but wherever it's safe to land. Ideally, it would be right here, I guess, because this is where I'm taking him, right? Like, like here. All right. Let's turn. Hmm. Guess I'll go this way. So if I take the northern route, it puts me closer. Yeah, I'll go north. Because I have to go around this landmass here. I can either go north or south of it. I think I'll just go north and try to get off at this dock here. <clears throat> now the locks, if he moves at all, he'll fall off, right? He's right on the edge. So I've got to be careful. If a serpent comes around, it's over because he'll jump out to attack the serpent and then run out of stamina and drown. Uh, so it's, it's a process. <laughs> Looks like I need to use this. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but the wind is against me. Was against me. <sighs> so, all in all, this is a very straightforward process. You just drive the locks onto the boat and then drive the boat sail the boat ride the locks onto the boat sail the boat to shore and then just get on the locks and ride them to where you want him um 
And now I will have two, which means I can breed the locks, which will be most, um, most, uh, I don't know, most useful. So I'm about almost I'm almost halfway there. So it's not it's not a very large trip. Whoops. It's not a very long trip. So in theory I should not have problems with serpents. I'm worried that seekers will spawn because it's almost nighttime. I really should have waited until morning to do this. But I can't turn back now. I'm already on the boat. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get so close to land. Yeah, I, I better steer clear of land so the locks doesn't aggro on a gray dwarf or something. That would be bad. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Gosh. I wonder what I'll name this guy. My other locks is named Kelpie. Maybe this one could be named Seaweed. I'm thinking Seaweed would be a good name. Uh, how do I do this? Left bumper plus A. Cool. All right, now it's just straight west. And I'll get to show off my dock. Now I can't dock at the dock with this locks because the locks won't fit <laughs> in the dock. So I'll have to dock just outside the dock. Do, do. Maybe I should dock just north. I'm thinking just north of the dock would be best. Unique New York. Unique New York. All right. Ticks. Oh, that's bad. This is very bad. I can't have ticks. All right. Come hither, ticks. Alright, cool. Hello, Odin. 
Because I think ticks can take down a Lux easily. They do a ton of damage, especially a one-star tick. Cool. All right. I don't want to be around these Seeker Brood. Let's do some sprinting. Not looking behind me. Choosing to ignore it. I think a Lox could take down a Wolf easily enough. But I'm not too worried about Wolves. Oh, dear fucking God. No. No, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Okay. Just got to keep running. 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 They'll get... Hopefully, they'll just get distracted. That's what I'm counting on. I just need the Seekers to get distracted by something and attack something else. Whew, okay. I think I made it. I think I'm safe. Where am I going? I'm going northwest. <clears throat> come on, come on, god damn it. All right, I made it. Nice. Oh, stop. All right. This is the one. Oh, I got to avoid this pit. So. Now he can make lots of babies with Kelpie. And he'll get lots of cloud berries. He'll be a happy little lox. Ah, come on. No. Muy perfecto. I did it. Yippee. Yahoo. All right. Let's get them some food. Some yum yum. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm out of stamina. I have no rested buff. For the love of Christ, just leave me alone! God, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna fucking die. Alright. Three health. I'm not gonna fight it. Okay. Jeez. <sighs> That's what happens when you don't have a rested buff. Everything kills you.
cool. Cloud, let's grab a rested buff before I go out. All right, cloud berries. Why don't I put away some of this shit? And regular wood, bam, stone, bam. Trifies, bam. Where's berries? Berries, berries. That would be up here, I think. Yep. Smack these down here. I almost need a chest for buke berries and cloud berries. All right. Grab some of these. Probably don't need to give them quite that many. All right, and give those bad boys some food, and then they can make lots of babies. And then I'll have a little army of locks. This is my memorial. I don't know if I ever showed this off in a video. I had a pet troll in my zoo, and it somehow died. So I made a little torch for him, and I put his... Uh, remains in the little casket in front of the torch. Sometimes, though, I forget to refill the torch and it, it dies. What? Why am I not picking this up? Strange. Hello, my children. Some cloud berries. You want some berries, don't you? And they, I think they eat flax, so there's some flax for him. Because he's hungry. Are you hungry? Happy. Cool. All right, well. Uh, I guess while I'm recording, I'll just show off the rest of my zoo. I plan to take off all these stairs and make this one singular structure with the enclosures in the center. But I need so much stone for that, which I don't have. So this is my abomination. Maybe I can get him to wake up. There he is. So, ah, oh geez, I'm out of stamina. This is my abomination. Something happened with this here. Um... <clears throat> this one by far took me the longest to get because I had to build over some ocean and clear out a bunch of trees. Um, this one probably took me like 100 hours to get, maybe 80 hours. Um, and then over here is my troll. Now my end goal is to get a two-star troll, which is a red troll. There he is. Um, but right now I just have the blue troll. And I'd like to get a second abomination and a second troll, but you can't name them, so I'll have a hard time determining who's who. Uh, now, these creatures are a great way to level up my block, and my sneak for that matter, because um, I can go here, right? And just take hits. Right, and I can just do this on repeat. And, um, that one I didn't parry. So it's, it's, yeah. And I get lots of practice parrying Abomination specifically, too. Oh, hush. He's all ornery. Ah. <sighs> Cool, well, um, let me get inside and then I'll end the video, I guess. Weed.
Uh... Um, gosh, what am I doing? Am I doing any? What am I doing? I was about to do something. I don't remember what I was going to do. So let me put on my Christmas hat to be festive. Um, cool. All right. Well, thanks for, um, thanks for, uh, watching the video. What? Uh, thanks for watching the video. I will be posting more Valheim content in the future. Uh, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.